time frame is glory glory lord and we're doing the english chorus the hawaiian chorus the samoan chorus once because that's a tongue twister <laughs> but more than that we are glorifying our lord in heaven so give him your all Oh my. 
to be in his very presence at this moment. Our every living God, your love is steadfast, your power is great, and your mercy is new every day. Send your healing hands upon us. Take away all the little things in our lives that distract us from your total presence. And let us celebrate this moment in honor and glory to you. Amen. Amen. At this time, we move on in our worship service to our Ke Aloha Anna. Our greetings and announcements, our sharing of joys and concerns, and to me. Aloha and good morning, everyone. Good morning. good morning. It's good to see you all here this morning, all nice and healthy. At this time, I would like to introduce our two guests we have today, Devon and Doug Barrymore. <laughs> They've been friends of mine for many, many years, and I finally walked you into coming. <laughs> and we are so grateful to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are there any other requests from the audience? Anybody has anything to say? If no okay. other, I do have. Okay. <laughs> Turn it over to Kahulani. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that um, Kahu Clara Dong from Opikau Church, uh, last known, I don't know what her current status is right now, but she is very uh, ill. She's very sickly. She's probably going to be passing soon. So I wanted all of you who... Um, to lift her up in prayer and her family. Um, also, I was asked for prayers over Wapihikau um, by Kahuvai, Frank Mulek, and several little things going on there. They need support. They need support, so please pray for them. Also, I'm asking for continued prayers for Mahel, <coughs> Mahelani, my daughter, she is um, scheduled for surgery on August 7th. Um, I forgot the name of that cancer, but it's where she, they'll take out her uterus and everything. So, so um, I just ask for your prayers as she battle with pain uh, constantly, but she is okay. And so I thank you for your prayers since, um, thus far. I want to lift up in prayer Kathy and um, Michael as they they almost went out in a leap of faith because things happen with their travel arrangements. And so I can't wait to hear the story, the testimony of what God is doing in their very lives at this moment as they are, uh, we're, we're 
believing they're already on the mainland to continue in their vacation. Yes. <laughs> I also want to continue to pray for Kalani. Everybody, just lift, uh, you know, give your claps. Yes. Shouts to God for all that he is doing for her, that she is here after just undergoing surgery this week. And here she is um, with many special conditions, but her focus is on the Lord. And so today, Lord. Yes. <laughs> and Amen. she's playing an instrument at the same time. So that is amazing. So I just want to uh, lift her up. I want to ask you also at this time, is there any other prayer needs, prayer requests that you may have? Aloha, Auntie Dachi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Anyone? Anything I left out? Yes, Sue. Okay, yes. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Any other prayers? Yes, Auntie Dachi. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. So she's celebrating with Jesus. <laughs> Any other prayer requests? Oh, hi, Bernie. Yes. Hallelujah. We pray for them all. Kahulani, I also want to pray for our guests. That yes. they have a safe journey home. And we thank the Lord for bringing them into our doors. Where is home? And what's right their name? Right here in Hilo. Oh, in Hilo. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Can you announce their names? And yeah, we got Doug and Devon. Doug and Devon. Everybody, please welcome them. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Thank you okay. for all that time. All right. <laughs> Thank you, and everybody have a very beautiful day and a blessed weekend. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you. At this time, our Kekahea Ikahai Pule, our call to Russia by Susie. Our call to worship is from Isaiah 25, verse 1. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things planned long ago. Amen. Thank you. Our kapule ho'omana, ae kapule akahaku, and kalamai. All those who are able, please stand for the prayer of invocation and the Lord's Prayer by Sue. Kapuli Ho'omana is our invocation. <coughs> As we sung this morning, O oh great and excellent Father, glory, glory to you, O oh Lord, and we give you glory this morning here in our little fellowship. Father God, we welcome you in to our hearts, our worship, Lord, you are so awesome in everything you do for us. May we receive your will this morning in our lives and let go of all the distraction, all the needless things. Reveal to us this morning what your will and your plan is for our life. As we lift up in prayer, the Lord's Prayer, a kahai puli akahaku in unison fellowship. 
Let us continue to stand, if possible, for the Kahimeni Vehe'ana, the opening hymn, Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God. One, two, three. <laughs> for your Holy Spirit who dwells within us. We thank you even more for your Son, Jesus Christ, the epitome and the atonement of our sins. We just thank you, Father. You are the Lord of the dance of life. You have breathed into us your creative, joyful spirit. You have lifted us from the dust into the swirling joy of your very presence. We are so grateful for all that you have done for us and continue to do in our lives. Each day reminds us in many ways of your mercy and your love. Yet there are times in our lives when we have felt lost and alone. We have been hurt and frightened and wondered where you were. Remind us again of your very loving presence. Place your hands of healing on our lives. Comfort us when we become afraid, lost, lonely, weary, and fearful. 
serve you. Help us to serve you faithfully through it all and all the days of our lives. As we have lifted the names of the dear ones upon our prayer list, Kau Clara Dalang, Kau Vai Makokane, Frank Mulek, Mahilani Kapunai, Kenny, Auntie Tachi's sister, and her memories, Bernie and her Ohana, for Doug and Devon joining us, Father from Hilo, and for all of those that are continuing to be on our prayer list, and, and we lift them up to you knowing full well and trusting you that you answer prayers, Father, and you know what is best. Forgive us when our thoughts for the right answer isn't so, but help us even more to see you in all your glory with your answers that is best for each and every circumstance and situation, every person, and especially for us. May we worship you with all our being. Be with us now in this time and place and in all the places and times of our entire lives as we journey in this temporal land, this temporal place until we are settled in our eternal home with you. All of this we ask in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. We pray and everyone says, Amen. Amen. At this time, we continue in our Kaha'avi Anna in a Mohai Aloha, our offering, invitation, and preparation. I just want to mention to you, if you don't already know, that our offertory box is back there on the table. We don't hand it out uh, continually. We're continuing to um, be in the COVID uh, guidelines by not doing that. The invitation. When David danced rejoicing before the Ark of the Covenant, his joy was not complete until he had made an offering of thanks and distributed gifts of food and drink to all who were in need. Perhaps the most joyful and challenging of all the commandments is to generosity and mutual care, to truly love one another as God loves us. I ask you to take this moment and look into the eyes of every brother and sister here with you and know that they are people of God, children of God as well. And that as familiar as their faces and their eyes may appear to you and the lovely kisses I see, even as we wear our mask and the aloha, greater is that same love that we share with the world. Let us gather our gifts together and offer them up to God in gratitude, heartfelt commitment and praise. Our Himeni Lulu are offering him, take my gifts.
set me free now because your love has touched me i have love to give away take my gifts and let me love you god who first of all And at this time, all those who are able to stand, please rise for the Himeni Ho'omai Ka'ida Doxology in Hawaiian. Extend your hand over our gifts and offerings for the blessing, Kapui Ho'okupu. Most heavenly and gracious Father, we give this from our hearts. As you gave us, so we give to you, Lord, to help further your kingdom. May you bless these gifts and offerings from our heart and multiply them for the good of your church and all your people. And we ask that in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you. At this time, we come to the segment in our service called Second Sunday Sharing, one of which we do every second Sunday of the month. So it's easy for you to, to know. And also that we have a bulletin back there for anyone who would like to sign up on Second Sunday Sharing to give a testimony of what Jesus is doing in your life. And um, at this time, I'm going to open this up for our very own Kalani. song take this gift it, I uh, it made me aware of the gift of life that God gave the gift of me making it to the surgery and all that I had to do it this year without him I couldn't have done it you know I came aloha before and I used God at my convenience today I do not use God like that no more. I use God all the time to be proud of me because I'm the most happiest I've ever been in my life, no matter what is going on with me. You know, the happiness, that love, that peace, you cannot help but grab onto it. And you know, with the Lord, being with me all the time and not giving up on me, more of my heart like open, more bigger it was to give. Give because he give us everything, everything we need, everything that's good for us. He knows it better than we do ourselves. So I no longer use him at my convenience. He used me, which I welcome that. I welcome that's the only way I can learn about my Lord is doing it, not just walking it or in the head. In my whole soul, in my whole heart, I love him. I never loved God like I do today with everything. So, you know, I open it up to those because we cannot use him at our convenience. Let him use us to spread and help others learn about him. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice, short, sweet, and very invigorating. Is there anyone at this time that would like to uh, share what Jesus is doing in your life? Any more testimonies? Okay. I would like to thank Auntie Mabel. She has done so much for me, for my children. She has taken me in uh, so that my son wouldn't have the burden. And she does a lot for our church, but I want you to know what she's mm -hmm. done for me. She's giving, she's given me independence. She's given me a love of the Lord, which I always had, but inviting me to her church, which is now my church. And she doesn't take guff from anybody, but it's in a loving way. And it showed me how to stand a little taller, be true to my word, to the word of God. And I just want you to know, which I know you already do, what a blessing she is. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Okay. Oh, come on down. Oh, you going right there? Okay, go ahead. you too. And if you wanted to know Bernie's name, her last name, she's wearing a shirt. <laughs> That's her family Ohana shirt. Kuailani. God is with you, Bernie, and we adore and love that you are a part of us too. So praise God for that. At this time, we'll continue in our worship service. But I call a little Bible and I ask you to use your Bibles for the scripture reading. Old Testament, 2 Samuel, chapter 6, 1 through 5, and then it skips down to 12b through 19. Hear the reading of his word. David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. David and all the people with him set out and went from Baali Judah, to bring up from there the Ark of God, which is called by the name of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned on the cherubim. They carried the Ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill. Uzzah and, and Ahio, Ahio, sorry, 
the sons of Abinadab, were driving the new cart with the ark of God. And Ahio went in front of the ark. David and all the house of Israel were dancing before the Lord with all their might, with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals. It was told King David, verse 12, the Lord has blessed the house of Obedidam and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedidam to the city of David with rejoicing. And when those who bore the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling. David danced before the Lord with all his might. David was girded with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. As the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, the daughter of Saul, looked out of the window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, and she despised him in her heart. They brought in the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and offerings of well-being before the Lord. When David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the offerings of well-being, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts and distributed food among all the people, the whole multitude of Israel, both men and women, to each a cake of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. Then all the people went back to their homes. This is the reading of his word, and may the Lord add his blessings upon it. Amen? Amen. We move on in our service to the Nakamana, or the message for today, with the lectionary theme as the title, God Inspired Joy. Can everybody say that? God Inspired Joy. God Inspired Joy. See, everything we heard thus far today is God Inspired Joy. That's where all of that is coming from. He is the beholder. He is the king. He is the key of our joy. Before I begin my message, let us pray. Heavenly and gracious Father, you are the God of hope. You are the ruler of night as well as day, the guardian of those who wander in the shadows. Be new light and new life for those who live in the darkness of despair, for prisoners of guilt and grief, for victims of fantasy and depression, that even where death's cold grip tightens, we may know the healing powers of the one who conquered fear and death. Bless the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts united together as one, to be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. I love this story about King David dancing wildly and dancing for joy and rejoicing in God's presence. And I think about myself. If I didn't have to play the ukulele or lead the praise and worship, I would be, I always rock. <laughs> and I know there's a few of us that do. When there's music playing, especially music that just touches your soul. And so I can, I can relate in that factor with King David. They were rejoicing because they were in God's presence. And everyone forming a parade and joining that enthusiasm. Can you feel it? In your bones, that electricity, everything that's igniting, it is great for our God. Yes, exciting. For me, music and rhythm makes me want to get up and dance to the beat. And you know, 
I uh, am out of shape, <laughs> but when the, there was a time when, yes, I would kick it out and dance everywhere, even if it meant classical music and just doing any kind of, you want to be ballerina, whatever you want to call that spiritual dance. At the same time, there was that Hawaiian passion and having taught a few hulas and then asked, by a group, young group in my high school, you know, a boy group, and they uh, they were going for that brown bags to start on. And they said, hey, Lani, <laughs> we like you do this hula. And I was like, what, me? Like, not even thinking twice, only because I loved to dance. And I only had, mind you, a very small smidget, I wasn't, I didn't belong to a halal or anything. And I would take the song that they chose, and at that time they chose Pua Olena. Beautiful song. And I took it home and I was trying to bug my dad, but you see, because he was the fluent Hawaiian Olelo person in our home. My mother was the fluent 100% Hawaiian, but she couldn't speak it. My dad, though, you had to catch him in his moments. And nevertheless, he would help me little by little to um, translate the song so I would know how to make them create the motions. And I would be doing these solo things as if, you know, nothing bothered me. Not even the thought that anyone out there saying, what hello she belong to? None. You know, <laughs> she didn't even have qualifications. Well, you know what? It was a joy inside. And here I go with a little smidgen about my testimony that I always say, I realized God was in my life. I didn't know him then. He was in my life a long time. I would say before I even became a little embryo, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, you know? I believe God was in my life. And I can attest now, as, as I found him over 30 years ago now, but not, not young, not as a child, got involved, did all kinds of things, and not to give you my testimony, because here I go, I'm going off into this other part of a, it's not even written in my sermon. <laughs> but I just want to share the joy of knowing the Lord and what he can do for you. And knowing that no matter what it is in this life, God knows what was best, what is best for you. What was has already happened. Don't look back. God still has a plan for you. Look forward. Let me get back in the message. <laughs> Our text this morning finds David's dance. Was a little wild and crazy, but a great show of joy in bringing the Ark of the Covenant, God's very presence, into the city of Jerusalem. God was literally, spiritually with them. Scripture tells us that David's wife, Michal, wasn't impressed by her husband's expression of joy. In fact, she looked upon him with contempt for making such a vulgar spectacle of himself, dancing like a burlesque street dancer, if you know what I mean. That effort he was wearing is like, like our Hawaiian our, our Hawaiian men. The, uh, whoa, auntie, what do you call that? Is it the malo? The malo, yeah, you know. And uh, yeah, it reveals a lot. Yeah. If Howard was in one of those, I'd be running to him with my jacket, <laughs> put it around, you know, like, get something, cover him up. <laughs> It was hardly the proper behavior for a king. But David didn't care because he was filled with joy to be in God's presence. It's, it's totally, you know, nothing else mattered. And that, I believe, is, is, is a message for us. Nothing else matters when we focus on God's presence. In David's leaping and spinning, he revealed with his face, his legs, his arms, and his body the immense joy he felt to know and be in the very presence of God. The God of the Israelites was the one so sacrificed us, oh sorry, so sacred 
and other that they dared not speak aloud God's name because it was so profoundly holy. Let me speak into this one moment. I hear God's name, left and right. I want to remind you what the commandment says about God's name. Or actually, I want to challenge you. Go look it up if you don't know. <laughs> because I want you to know that we misuse that period as well. While the Holy One was viewed in awe and with reverence. Now, I want you to know this is not a scare tactic. It is just that, awe and reverence. They not only sang praises to God, but also laments. Laments, sorry, laments and urged one another towards faith. Just like you talked about each other. Each other. We should be all doing that. Urging one another towards faith. They expressed certainty and longing, fear and faith, punished and saved. They were fully involved in their relationship with God. Have we made God a Mr. Nice Guy, kind and forgiving, someone who is simply a friendly companion, who comforts us and rewards us when we do right? I wonder if that God could possibly be powerful enough to bring order out of chaos, to be victor over evil. Think about it. It might do us well to see God as an awesome other, to stand in awe, even fear of God's transcendent, transcendent power and glory, which we cannot measure and cannot even imagine or fathom. And then we sing praise like we did today. We make music, we express joy, and I hope you came here to worship God on your own, not to see and expect, but to give. Give so that God receives your uncontainable joy. David was dancing with all the house of Israel, caught up with this enthusiastic response to bringing the Ark of the Covenant, God's holy presence, into the city of David, into Jerusalem. They were dancing with all their might, with shouts and songs, and with lyres and harps and tambourines and castanet, uh, and trumpet. What a procession that was. Did they all know? Can you imagine? That's like a big, huge parade. We've seen them. We've been a part of them. Playing music, you hear one band playing a certain one, the next one another. But can you imagine that day? Were they all in tune, singing the same song, playing all that many instruments across how many people they said? 30,000. Did they all know and play the same songs or did they all play wildly, making a thunderous jubilation? David's wild dancing was in God. Everybody say, in God. In God. I want you to know that because interestingly, the word enthusiastic, Everybody say enthusiastic. enthusiastic. It originally meant and theos in God. Wow. <laughs> what would that mean in our worship today? In the effects, our mission, in our fellowship, how would it affect it? Would we loosen up just a little? and reveal the joy we feel because of God's active presence in our lives, right? Now God sent the God we know of, right? From the Old Testament we read of. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to earth. And we believe this, amen? 
And when Jesus ascended back to his home, he said we were never to be left alone. He left us, who? Anybody? I'll shout it out. Did Jesus just leave us? He left the? The Comforter, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, do you believe in that? He's in you. So how do we get to the deep down in the heart? I don't know if you know that song. You know, every time I do all kinds of stuff, I always singing. That's part of, I know God gave me that gift. <laughs> but I'm crazy over it too. When I, you know, deep down in the heart, you guys heard the deep, I learned this from the youth, okay? Deep, way down, deep, way down, deep down in my heart. And it would be around. And everybody would start to do it. Can you even feel that? I do. Because it's, it's just awesome. And it, that was the only words to the song. I don't know who made that. But that's what I'm talking about. How do we get to the deep down in the heart jubilation over what God is doing in our lives? Well, one thing is, we can keep a daily guide, or daily I mean throughout the day, not just one time, of all the things we can be grateful for. I call it gratitudes. We need a gratitudes journal so that every time we about to go around the bend where there isn't any gratitude, we turn back to the gratitude section in our lives. And that section is where you're going to find God. That's just one way. For many, we get deep down in our hearts when our favorite team wins the World Cup or the Super Bowl or March Madness. But can we feel that way when we think about God? And that's where that gratitude journals come in play. It pushes that joy ahead of all the negative struggles in our lives. But we might ask ourselves, is our life God-centered or human-centered? And when we dance as a church, hey church, let me see you dance in your seats, don't get up. I don't want anybody falling. <laughs> But let me see you dance in your seats. Go ahead, everybody, close your eyes and dance. Yeah, you know, we can do whatever. I know some of us wiggle and jiggle a lot more. <laughs> but, and I know that's not everybody's favorite pastime. But when we dance as a church, when we celebrate everyone's use of their God-given gifts and talents to build up the community of God, when we look at our mission, and our worship, and our stewardship. Do we see God in action? Are we filled with uncontainable joy of having God with us, Emmanuel? Or are we here out of duty and obligation? Iranius wrote, the glory of God is the human person fully alive. So what is the glory of God? The human person. We are. What does that mean to be fully alive then in worship? Joyous dancing is contagious. Is our dance our response to God's very presence in our lives? So filled with enthusiasm, so filled with God that others can't help but want to join in. For some, some have scratched their heads <laughs> at our joyous, crazy, hopeful attitude during those troubling times for our churches, our nation, and our world. Others may look on us with disgust as we express what they would consider is ridiculous. This confidence in this unseen God. But some, some, 
and for every one will come. They will see this hope. They will see this confidence and this peace that pass it all understanding as something that they want to experience too. Let us dance before the Lord with enthusiasm, welcoming anyone who wants to rejoice in God's very presence with us always, always. Let us dance with grace, courage, and freedom through Jesus who gives us God-inspired joy. Amen? Amen. And that's my message for you today. We move on in our worship to our Kahimenihoku, our closing hymn, Mele Lai, Happy Songs. And I ask you, and all those who are able to stand, please stand. To share something because is your mic on? I think it's not on. Yeah. Turn, turn no, turn on your oh. It is. Huh? No, your button. Look your button. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there yeah. you go. I thought so. <laughs> I, you know, I I, I want to reflect on that uh, joy thing. Yes. I go to. I was doing the radiation and chemo. In radiation, there's three checks, but only two can work with you. Is I and hook you up and get you ready for your uh, radiation. Mm -hmm. And they were playing music. I was overwhelmed with joy. Wow. When I got off that table and the music was gone in, and I shared the Lord with this text. And we started judo bugging. You know the old buck guys that do that over the neck and stuff? Three of them, four of us were just dancing out of free joy. And I never recognized that. That was a joy of what you know, God was doing for me. I mean, being so happy that I had to get up and dance to the music, you know? And then when he was mentioning, I said, I had a moment like that. You don't have to be only in church. Yeah. I had that moment. I wow, that was beautiful. I, I just wanted to share that because I didn't recognize stuff sometimes when God does it, you know? And uh, I just recognized that's how happy I was, even in radiation. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. Let us have many of those days, or every day and every moment. Okay. Oh, wait, hallelujah. So we'll just be waiting for sister to get ready. <laughs> Yeah. 
God's love for you is real and alive in your hearts today. Go forth into the world with God in faithfulness. Join all those who have danced with the Lord throughout the generations. Take the song and rhythm of God's word into the world and invite others to celebrate the joy with you this day and every day until the day. We are with our Lord in heaven. Amen. Amen. Have a very blessed week.